Hey Brad Squad, it's Vanessa Contreras on the scene of the New York City Comic Con 2021. Fans are back at the Jacob Javits Center for the four day festival celebrating the comic book culture. First held in 2006, the New York City Comic Con is an annual convention dedicated to fans of everything from comics to graphic novels, from manga to video games to film and TV and of course cosplay. But it's not just a costume party. The comic book culture is influenced by artists from all over the world. So this event also provides a lens into what's hot in pop culture and important to societies around the globe. People from all different backgrounds get to mix and mingle. So let's go check it out, squad. It's gonna be a good day. Okay, squad, here we go. I told you we would make some new friends on the floor, and I need some names. Vision. Uh, uh, I'm Wanda, the Scarlet Witch. And I'm Loki. How are you guys loving Comic Con so far? Oh, it's been amazing. Absolutely amazing, seeing a lot of old pals. Hi, I'm Vanessa from Black Clover. I am Mr. Free. You guys look phenomenal, I must say. I have Harley Quinn here, but sometimes you go by Jillian, correct? Yes. I'm Caitlin Christine, and I'm MJ Carnage. Hi, I'm Jasmine Page, and I'm Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. Okay, ladies, fierce. Why do you guys choose to come to Comic-Con? I just think the community as a whole, between cosplaying and anime and the comic book world, it's just such an incredibly creative environment and just like, I don't know, like a safe place. I love it here. I gotta second that and it's to see everyone's creativity come to life. People spend so much time on their cosplays, on just, you know, their artwork and to see everything come together. It is just, it's magical. Hello, my name is Morby Blackstar. Why did you come to Comic-Con? Well, originally I was gonna plug my guitar and I was gonna serenade the entire world with my beautiful, dark, evil compositions. So far I haven't done it. Maybe it'll happen, we'll see. My name is Al. My name is Rx Superstar. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. So what brings you guys to Comic-Con? For the fans, the people, my favorite show, Dragon Ball, like you see right here. Oh, I love Comic-Con. I love comic books, I love video games, I love anime. I just love the whole vibe of cosplayers. That's why we're all here. Okay, so what has been your favorite part of the event so far today? Um, definitely running into other um, characters from our universe on the floor and taking photos together. Just, you know, connecting with people. Meeting so many people, spreading our love to the uh -huh. world. Having fun. It, there's so much diversity here. I, I just enjoy it. I love Comic Con because I love seeing the kids dress up. I love seeing the adults dress up. I love It's a family thing. Everything you love is in one place, and that's the best. My favorite part is to see all the characters walking around in their costumes and the stores and everything. Honestly, everything. <laughs> For me, it's getting to see a lot of my friends because we're getting out of COVID. So a lot of my friends have been made online. So this is the first time I'm getting to see a lot of these people that I've met through TikTok and through socials. The Dragon Ball booth and the, and then the new trailer, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. It's just great to be with everyone. All righty, ladies. So you look fierce. Tell me a little bit about your costumes. Did you put them together yourselves? All the details. So I had help putting together my costume from a few different creatives. So this is from Starkey Props, and this is from someone I work with a lot, her name's Zoe, and kind of had this idea from the J. Scott Campbell cover of Carnage and Gwenom, and I'm just so happy I finally got to bring it to life, so. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Definitely sewing machines, a lot of glue gun, a lot of hurt fingers. <laughs> so, but you yes. look great, and yourself? Uh, this is 24 hours of work. Wow. I uh, haven't slept since for like two days. My dad helped me. We went to a bunch of Halloween stores so we could find a costume, but we mixed costumes together. Have you learned a lot about other cultures through comics and science fiction genres? I, I like Korean manhwas, their comics. I like Japanese manga. Obviously, American and Latino works that are, you know have been showing up. You learn a lot through 
the cultures, the writing re um, representation within the comics. So, yes. Yes, I totally agree. There's so many different types of comic books now and so many different types of media that people are just creating. You're learning things that you would never learn on your own from other cultures, through comics, through movies, through TV shows, through anything. Absolutely, stepping out of character. Um, I am an immigrant myself, uh, I'm an immigrant family, and uh, you know, the past several years have been uh, very, very difficult for all immigrants, and I think it's very important for everyone to use their voice. It's very important for people to realize that the forces that seek to divide us, they're not gonna stop unless we understand that there's people from different cultures, from different backgrounds, and then interacting, and when you come here to Comic-Con, yeah. so diverse, every single background, every single identity, and that is what is special, and this is what we need to protect. It's so good to see pop culture, comics, movies, so much more reflective of our society and diverse, you know, especially nowadays in this country, especially here in New York City, especially it's good to for people to grow up seeing characters like them. And now we have strong female leaders of color stepping into comic books and movies and it's a great time to be a nerd. Yeah, I also just love how not only inclusive representation but also really interesting looks at what our future could be. Envisioning not just the disparities that exist but solutions and ways forward that are more than what we might envision in our day-to-day -day lives and that's what I adore about it and I think is so important. There's so many variations of each character. Wonder Woman and being different ethnicities and Superman and just the comic book world can really bring other people together. Cosplay is for everyone and I love that. Well, it brings Japanese culture, it brings the American culture, it brings Chinese culture, it brings Philippines, it brings all types of culture into one place that we all enjoy. So it brings us all together. And also in every other anime, even in um, DC and Marvel, there's a lot of political things going on. There's uh, culture, there's uh, protests, there's always a fight. You have to fight for yourself and you have to fight for your neighbor and fight for everybody. We're all in this together. A little of your immigration story. My parents actually grew up in Cuba and they you know experienced poverty, they experienced lack of democracy and, and right to express themselves and you know they left for a better life. I was actually born in Spain and then grew up in Florida and I got to really see what it is the struggle of, of you know being an immigrant and seeing a you know a family struggling as an immigrant family has really shaped why I, I'm an activist and why I fight. I fight because I don't want anyone to have to go through the struggle just to be a normal person. Everyone is human, everyone deserves the same rights, the same opportunity to dream, to hope, to be happy, to have a family. It's something that is so important. A lot of the stories that we see, for example, like Marvel movies and shows, it's you know, Star Wars, it's a fight against fascism, it's a fight against forces that want to you know, take away people's rights, take away people's voices, so we have to keep using that voice. Uh, democracy is not a sport and rights are not guaranteed if you don't fight for it. I'm half Puerto Rican and half Japanese. My great-grandfather was in the camps here. Being a Puerto Rican as well, I mean, yes, we're American, but we're going through a lot of stuff right now and um, I feel like they're not represented as much and that they need to be or protected by the government. Um, a bunch of different things mixed. Uh, I look up to my grandmothers a lot because they're, I'm first generation American. So them coming here and my parents coming here, you learn a lot from just what they grew up on and the things they dealt with compared to us here where my generation, I would say we have it pretty easy compared to them. My dad's from Ireland and my mom is from Peru. Amazing. And have you learned a lot of different things from both cultures? Yes. My favorite part is that well, my dad taught me that Ireland stole the potatoes from Peru. <laughs> well, luckily they made you, so they came together and that's just fine. Uh, I'm Puerto Rican and I'm uh, Persian, I'm black, and so I'm from everywhere. My parents met in Germany. As far as me, I'm native to America, but my story reaches back really, really far. I am from Mexico City. I came to America 10 years ago. I have been here with different visas. I got my master's degree in fine arts of filmmaking at the New York Film Academy. I, so I got a student visa, then I got an OPT visa, then I had my B1, B2 visa, and right now I'm applying for a green card. So why did you decide to come to America? Well, I, I thought that, you know, I had my niche here, like as a metalhead, as a horror filmmaker. 
there's definitely more uh, culture here. I mean, we're in the Comic Con, you know, there's no doubt about it. And, <laughs> you know, exert my expertise in music and film in a place where it will be appreciated. Just to be in the right place, you know, with the right people and, you know, try to, to have more opportunities. Well, I'm Puerto Rican from New York City. My dad was born in Puerto Rico and my mom was raised in New York City in Harlem. Harlem, what's up? By being a Puerto Rican, that's a whole big culture of passion, food. It just feels great to see like uh, anime and see Comic Cons bring all our cultures together. City Comic Con 2021, where we met so many creatives from so many different backgrounds that come together to share their love for comic book culture, learning from one another. Now, back to the studio. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.